Welcome to the Chill Spot, where artists are discovered. I'm your host, Natasha. For tonight's show, we have our special guest, Brett Sims. She is the founder of Art by Brett and of Stuck Designs. She is educated in the fine arts through Loyola Marymount University, and she is a huge supporter of self-love. Everyone, let's welcome Brett to the Chill Spot. Thank you for having me. Thank you very, very much. I'm so happy to be here. Yes, we're glad to have you on the chill spot too, Brett. Thanks for joining us today. Yes. Great. We are so enthused because this is our very first episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so honored to be your first guest. I feel very excited to be here. It is a wonderful honor to have you with us today. So Brett, tell us about your work. Yes, so um, I am an artist um, as well as a nonprofit founder. Um, so for my own art, I do like painting, I do drawing, I do illustrations. Um, and then through my company, I created a art collection for that, which goes on t-shirts. Um, I have a t-shirt here from the company. Um, but yeah, so I actually create artwork for my nonprofit that kind of um, serves as wearable art to promote the brand so people can like wear their support. Mm -hmm. um, so Stuck Designs is essentially a um, nonprofit community for women who provide um, art programmings for girls um, in underserved communities on a global level really and we're really focusing in Ghana currently at our partner school. Oh that is lovely yes I understand there's a lot of um, activity going on in third world countries in terms yes. of providing resources to the youth of those countries as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I like, I definitely, the, the first time I went, you know, I just really saw that there was such a need and such a extreme lack of resources in general, but like an extreme lack of art resources more specifically. So mm -hmm. um, after I went, I really, you know, knew that I had to do like, had to kind of flip my company and make it a 501c3 um, so that we could, you know, do a better job serving uh, the girls that are in our partner school. That is wonderful. Nonprofits like your organizations are a lot of the ways that we get to support each other in this world. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I agree. That is wonderful. And so, yeah, tell us a little bit more, if you don't mind, about yeah. your activity in Ghana. Yeah, so um, I guess kind of like going back a little bit. Um, so Stuck Designs was my like senior thesis project. Mm -hmm. And um, so when I, you know, I started developing it and I started developing it as a um, wearable art clothing line for women of color to start with. Mm -hmm. And then I started, um, you know, I had this vision of always, you know, making it go 360 into a nonprofit one day, but I didn't know exactly how that would happen. Mm. Um, so then I actually, um, I decided to reach out to this amazing school that I found on social media. And I found it because the, um, there's this girl, this teacher at the school, she's really young, but she did these custom handshakes for each child who entered her classroom, like each girl that entered, like did just different cool like handshake gestures. And I thought <laughs> that that was such a powerful way to like, and a unique way to celebrate, you know, self-love and like the unique in each and every child. So um, I ended up emailing her and her dad ended up being the owner of the whole school and he ended up living in Ohio. Um, so she connected me like that and um, like within, this all happened like within maybe like a day or so, I, I got on the call with um, the owner of the school and he was like, I love what you're doing. Um, and I would really like you to see the school um, in person so you can really know like the need that we have and what we're really dealing with here. Um, so right after I got from with him, he connected me to the travel agent um, who got me like a visa, got me a flight. And in two weeks I was off to Ghana and I had never been to Africa before. Or like at all. Um, I've been to Europe, but never Africa. And um, my mind was really blown. My eyes were really opened. Um, I just, I didn't know that there was such, yeah, that just such disparity, like really 
um, it changed my life, I think, like just to know that kids didn't even have their own like pencils. Um, kids had never colored before when I brought supplies. I had to teach them how to like hold crayons and how to like color because they had never just done that before. They'd never had their own crayons or their own coloring books or anything. Mm. So um, I brought what I could, but it was, I knew that like we needed to do more, you know, and I wanted to do more. So, um, yeah, I went in about, I think late, um, 2018, it was almost about to be 2019. Um, cause it was like in late November, I think. So, um, since then, yeah, I've really been just working to kind of build up our nonprofit so that we can better support our girls there. And I've been working to like build out our programming and, um, and our clothing. Cause when people shop, you know, they support our programs and the girls in Ghana. So yeah. You know, it's surprising sometimes to hear about how the simple things such as crayons can really be like, oh, wow. They didn't even know how to use these. Yeah, that was mind blowing to me. <laughs> and it's like, that's a norm for us here. Yeah. But for them, it's like a treasure, I bet. Yes. It, and it really was like a treasure. Yes. Like, that's why it was so powerful. Like, I mean, we just take so many things for granted here in the States from like cell phones. Most, most people just didn't have cell phones at all, like let alone iPhones, you know, and they were just like, oh, an iPhone. Uh, they were just so <laughs> blown away or when I brought my camera and when I um, was giving out the supplies. Yeah. Like all the kids would like crowd around me just to try to get like one pencil. And I felt bad because mm -hmm. I just, in my mind, you know, I wasn't thinking like, you know, they maybe they've never had uh, their own pencils before. Like, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, it was eye opening and I like it, it just shifted my entire perspective. And like it was the definition of like, you know, just like this cultural shift, this cultural like awakening that like, yes. wow, yeah, we just take so much, so much for granted. And it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to just convey that to other people I think like if because if unless I had really seen that disparity with my own eyes and witnessed it from my own experience I don't know if I would be able to like resonate with it you know as deeply as I have been able to but mm -hmm. yeah it's 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 an issue it's it's a real a real issue <laughs> A glass of wine to beat the blues Won't let it take go by Where you don't cross my mind And it's sad It turns me apart Spending my time without you Learning to live without you I'm not the same without you Memory, you're just a memory, memory Should I stop, should I try Or I should give it up You don't know, you're the reason Sleepless nights, should I stop, should I try, I should give it up. 
Yeah, so again, it's wonderful to have your organization be part of the solution and help yeah. provide those resources. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And so tell us some more about your t-shirts. Can we see what your shirt says on there now? Yes, so it says, do you? And like, uh -huh. I have, let's see if we can, I have like a little logo on the back. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but the that. logo is also here <laughs> behind me. Oh, but yes, that's on the wall too. Yes, yes. So um, I designed. I designed pretty much everything. Like I designed the logo, I designed our website. Um, mm -hmm. I really built it all just from the ground up after um, college. And, you know, it's been through many phases. Um, I've built, you know, various teams and I've been blessed to have so many different powerful women, you know, help me to build it over the years. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I think that, um, you know, it's like as women grow and as I grow it's like I want the company to grow so mm -hmm. in its many phases like I've had you know different women come in and really like um serve and bless the company you know with their perspectives their tips their ideas and um it's really been able to thrive just from you know powerful and creative women who believe in the vision and like the power of serving girls who need it most because um girls of color are really excluded from the art world or art opportunities, which then leads to like the reason why that there are hardly any black women or women of color, you know, in galleries um, across like the US or, you know, just internationally, really. And how are some of those ways that you think they are excluded and in what ways could that happen? Yeah, so um, I just think that it's like, if you're, you know, I think, kind of like if you're a wealthier or like a you usually like a white or Caucasian child, like you just have automatically you, you're in your school, you're gonna have like art classes, you're gonna have like mm. um, resources, even if like the school can't maybe afford it, there's like a PTA or parents, you know, who provide um, funding for art programs to really thrive. Mm. But in um, underserved communities, like in the States, I've worked in, you know, Compton and Watts and um, even like at a, you know, a charter school in Watts that I worked at, which is a pretty great charter school, they still had no, no art class, no, no art funding, no art programming. Um, and it's kind of heartbreaking because the, the girls are so like eager to um, create and they're so like inspired by like um, the way that I've put like art on, you know, clothing or like cell phones or stickers or whatever. <laughs> and, um, and they want to create, but they just don't really have have opportunities or resources or programs to like allow them to do do so and um I was shocked because after so I went to Ghana and I taught art there and then shortly after that I started working in Watts and the disparity of these two places wasn't much different like Mm. shockingly um the girls just didn't like like at maybe ages 11 to 13 they had never had art class before they you know they loved art and they really wanted to do it and continue it but um the programming just didn't allow it and allow for it the funding didn't allow for it so mm. when girls aren't allowed to you know have these opportunities at a young age girls of colors in underserved communities like um you know it's like how how are they going to um you know continue art in, in a higher level of education and how are they ever going to be able to like show art you know in galleries or on a larger scale it's like the opportunities aren't there and art itself is very it's an expensive craft you know it's okay. like the supplies are expensive like maintaining it is expensive it's like you almost like you have to have money in order to like make the money so it's a it's an interesting paradox but um I just want girls to be able to have more resources because even I'm from like a middle class background like mm -hmm. um you know it, it was still expensive for me too like just art classes art resources just like paying for you know the oil paints or all of the paint brushes and um yeah I just love for more doors to be open because it's just it's like I can't believe in 2021 that there are just so few like black women artists in galleries there's about like three percent maybe of art in galleries is by women of color these days so yeah yeah those are those are good pointers and, and hearing that information you know helps us to better understand 
Yeah. There is a, a huge lack and a dismissal of opportunity for these youth. Yeah. So that could be another way, hopefully your organization can help provide more materials. Yep, exactly. As well to help yep. them. Um, and if you would need any um, supporters there to help you with putting that together and getting the materials and supplies together, yes. um, that could be something that would be good to get uh, out as well. Yeah, because um, we actually put like when people do donate um, either uh, just like funds or like actual art supplies, we um, have been crafting these like art kits. Mm -hmm. um, they're like kind of like larger scale, like pencil boxes or like um, toolkits, but we put um, various supplies in the kits that they can use to then um, create along with art classes that we have put together on our online platform, as well as in like a, um, a lesson book if like kids don't have access to Wi-Fi. Oh, perfect. So you already have that started. Yes, we do. We do. For yes. um, we have two programs, and um, so our first program is called the Little Hardest Program, and that's where we teach uh, kids in underserved communities and um, give art kits. And then we have a Fly Girl Initiative, which is where we like it's like a grant program where we fund individual girls who are really struggling. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that is a lot of good information, and will help spread the word. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. So. Um, Tell us, Brett, where can your followers find you on social media? Yes. So um, the best place to connect with Stuck Designs is um, at, S at Stuck Designs um, on really all social media platforms. That's S-T-U-K Designs. And um, yeah, for Instagram, Facebook. Oh, sorry, my dog. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay, so um, you can connect with me um, on all social media platforms at Stuck Designs, S T U K Designs, um, and StuckDesigns.org as well. And you can find like all of our links at StuckDesigns.org, um, and they're just all at the bottom. And everything is pretty much just at that same link. And there you can find out how to donate, how to get involved in our programming, how to support. Um, and oh, and just for a note, I don't think I've said, but Stuck Designs design stands for strong, talented, united, and knowledgeable. So that's really what our community encompasses and um, what we push forward, you know, for everyone who gets involved and um, joins us in this movement.
Perfect. That will make it easy for um, people to find you on social media. So again, that is Stuck Designs, S-T-U-K Designs, which stands for Strong, Talented, United, and Knowledgeable. Perfect. Yes. Wonderful traits to have for all of the great people in the world that we want to help support develop the arts helps develop their self-love and help develop the way that they can also share with others in the community. Yes. Oh, and uh, one more thing. We actually have a Color for a Cause initiative going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you're like having some downtime or maybe you're still like in kind of like quarantine mode or whatnot, um, you can print out our coloring sheets um, that I've designed and um, you can color them in and take a picture of your art when it's done or yourself with the art. And it really just helps us build awareness, you know, for the fact that art really does save lives. It really does. And self-love really does heal and um, by giving girls of color these opportunities you know we really do in turn just heal the world you know you know what I'm gonna do that too I'm gonna get my own print paper and I'm gonna yes. color it in <laughs> and it's really it therapeutic you know like I forget sometimes <laughs> how therapeutic it is and um, yes. we even have like a, a playlist to go with it so you can color you can listen zone out <laughs> chill out listen to a playlist and um, get your color on for a very very good cause to build awareness I love it I love it Thank you. 
And if someone is looking to get in contact with you, how can they do that? Yes, um, you can get in contact with us um, via email is probably the best. Again, you can find that at stuckdesigns.org, but it's yes queen, Y-A-S queen at stuckdesigns.org. That's our email. Um, you can also shoot us a DM. Shoot us a DM on um, Instagram. We were really quick to reply there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the quickest way. Hey, to all the queens in the world. <laughs> yes, queen, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. If there was anything else that you wanted to add on here, we got like another minute. Um, I think hmm, that's pretty much it. We're just really trying to, um, like, luckily this Color for a Cause initiative has really been like um, thriving and moving and it's been supporting. Oh my goodness, my dog. Sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> she's antsy. Um, okay. So, um, our color for a cause initiative is really supporting right now our I fund women campaign. It's, um, kind of in tandem with that. We wanted, um, a way that we can authentically connect with our community and our followers, um, and that people can get engaged, whether you can like donate to our campaign or not, um, you know, you can get involved still. So if you do want to donate to our campaign, um, the, that all information is still on our site stuckdesigns.org. Um, it's the first thing on our page. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of, we're raising funds for expansion. We're raising um, awareness so that more people can just understand the, just the real lack that there is of opportunity for girls of color within the art world and, and the exclusion that exists there. Yes, yes. So we want to break those barriers. Yes, break the barriers completely because most people don't even know that, that such barriers still exist because mm -hmm. in 2021 they really shouldn't, but you know, they do. We're still being excluded from so many um, higher up places of society, which the art world really is. Mm -hmm. Very true. Well, I'm glad that uh, we are at the beginning of this journey and it'll be a great um, discovery to see down the line how many more of our diversity youth we can get into the art field. Yes, yes, because I mean, they, they're so they're so talented and they deserve it so much. Like they're so gifted and <laughs> they're I so think gifted. Not agrees. <laughs> so gifted, she agrees. <laughs> so yeah. Um, wonderful, but, wonderful. Yeah. So we wish, uh, we want to say thank you again for joining us on the chill spot tonight. Uh, we learned a lot from you today. Thank you for sharing everything about you and your organization. We uh, look forward to seeing how many more people can help out with the, the needs of our youth and their creative outlets to help them express themselves and grow in this community, as well as help others in the community. And we wish you all the best with all of your positive, your positive and caring work. Thank you. Thank you for sharing art and love with the world. Thank you. Sending much love to you as well and to the entire community of which is listening. Thank you guys for all of the support. Wonderful.